What was your is this bitch serious moment? A woman claimed to have left her money at home while I was working one day after she ordered two sandwiches. They take about 10 minutes to cook. I said that's okay, when you come back they will be ready. She said she wanted the sandwiches first and that she'd be right back after she and her daughter ate because they lived right around the corner. I said if you live right around the corner you'll be back before the sandwiches are done, but I can't give you food before you pay. She lost her shit on me. It was wild, she left with no food and didn't come back. 20 years ago, girl tried to fight me in a bar. All I did was look at her funny. Unintentionally. I was going to the bar for a round of drinks and forgot the order, happened to be looking at her when I was lost in thought. Anyway, she challenged me outside. I couldn't believe it. I'm 6 feet 1 inch 220 and she was small. Anyway the bouncer heard her and kicked her out. She was still in the sidewalk an hour later when we left. Followed me to my car pushing me and punching my back. It was surreal. Used to work at Disney World, it's 9am and a lady comes into our guest services demanding a refund on her turkey leg because it tastes weird, we ask her details to process the refund, turns out she bought it 3 days ago and was carrying it in her bag since. When I walked into the apartment I shared with a friend, and it was covered in vomit because her dog ate a pillow and had puked it up. 2 days earlier. The living room was covered in dog puke and she had just sat there in the middle of it. She thought it was funny. I called a moving company on the spot and arranged for the first appointment they had, and put my stuff in storage while I found a new place. That was my last roommate. I work in a somewhat popular restaurant, fast causal style and it was my first shift as a line cook by myself. I had already worked in the kitchen and can do every position there, but it was my first time doing it by myself. Well it was a busy night for us, and we were short staffed. By the time we had slowed down. I had been exhausted and hot as hell. I had been standing over 8 burners for about an hour and was taking my lunch. I sat in the office and the AC was blasting and it was well needed. My co-worker who was cashiering that day, and she took her lunch 15 minutes after mine started. She saw me in the office and demanded I get out of her spot, told me being a cashier is harder than a line cook because she has to deal with the public. When I told her I wasn't moving she told me to duck off and was a bitch the rest of the night. It took about everything in me not to slap her. But instead I told my co-workers who told the mod, and soon after she was fired for stealing. Had a new boy in the office who had no idea of what personal hygiene consists of. Not a great start. He was loud and obnoxious, not even good at his job. Then one day, at the smoking shelter, he starts talking about catching rabbits in traps. He's pointing to the fields around the building and saying he's going to ask for permission to put traps out there. We laughed. For all the shit he talked, not one of us took him seriously. When we go back inside he heads straight to the cubicle of our office manager. This cubicle is adorned with pictures of rabbits. Some are her pets, some are just rabbits she thinks are cute. She has statues, rabbit pens and pencils, nobody in their right mind would have asked this woman in this cubicle about going trapping rabbits. He did. I was surprised he made it to the end of the day. I was not surprised when he didn't return the day after. A couple sat down at the movie theater 15 minutes into the movie. The lady sits right beside me and is holding a full conversation at full volume with a man barely acknowledging her. I politely ask her to lower her voice as it is distracting. She stares forward for two minutes before leaning over, maybe if you weren't listening to my conversation, you wouldn't be distracted. I was too livid to even respond and the movie was ruined. There was a girl in my class who was such an idiot and she would outwardly disrespect the professor all the time. This one time while the professor was talking she started to whistle. He like stopped class in disbelief and asked her why she was doing it and why she was being disruptive and she said it's a thing she does without even thinking, and then whistled again and was like see? On multiple occasions I've had mothers try to leave their kids with me because I'm in childcare. I literally have to stop telling moms I'm a nanny because I end up getting a strange baby plopped in my lap. The worst was at a park, I was chilling and reading. A mother sits next to me on the bench with her baby. We start chatting a little, oh your baby is such a cutie. Stuff like that. This bitch stands up, places her baby in my lap, diaper bag next to me and says she'll be right back. Didn't ask, just put her baby in my lap and walked away. The time this mother yelled at me for saying excuse me. 
her and her family were taking up an entire bike path, including the shoulder. Instead of cutting through them, I moved onto the shoulder and cheerily excused myself as I passed her. Didn't touch her and she didn't really have to move since I managed to squeak by. Yet as I passed, she started screaming a bunch of shit. Well, she did not expect me to come to a screeching halt and ask if there was an issue. She promptly hid behind her husband and wouldn't even look at me. Me and my friend, both around 14 at the time, snuck some of my dad's whiskey while my parents were out. We each had a few sips from the bottle, did the obligatory eye burns. And that was about it. At first. A few minutes later, my friend starts acting really drunk. He's crashing into walls, falling down, slurring his speech. I'm thinking there's no way this kid is drunk we had like. 25 milliliters of that whiskey. I don't even feel anything except the lingering little burn in my throat. He's gotta be faking it. He starts dry heaving, smashed a lamp, then went toward the TV like he was going to grab it. I had to literally bear hug him while he fought like he was resisting arrest. He was foaming at the mouth and screaming. And wouldn't you know it, just like that he sobered up and relaxed. So in the span of five minutes he got drunk of a sip of whiskey, wrecked my house, fought me like a wild animal, then sobered up. This one girl in my class loved to apply perfume whenever she could despite the fact that the girl sitting next to her was very sensitive to fragrance. One day she sprayed a whole bunch on and the girl started having a coughing fit and then a migraine and was sent to the nurse's office to calm down. When the teacher asked the girl why she did that all she said was what's the big deal? It's not my fault. Sometimes I don't like people. This just happened to me a few days ago. I was walking my dog, who is not child friendly, and we were coming up on a woman and her small child. I could tell the kid was gonna make a beeline for my dog so I crossed to the other side of the street so there wouldn't be any issues. This lady yells what, my kid can't pet your dog? As if her kid was just entitled to touch any dog she wanted to. I said he's not good with kids, sorry and she yelled back whatever bitch. I was stunned, honestly. Thought about that interaction the rest of the walk. But had I just let her kid come up to my dog that kid probably would have gotten bitten. My wife and I got in an argument, she was acting irrational, basically she thinks she is a mind reader and thinks anytime I am not in a good mood it's because I am angry with her, so she was angry with me for me having a bad day at work. She said I was always angry with her and she was sick of it and she wanted a divorce and move out. I had like a brief out of body moment where I visualized myself married to another woman, happy, and with kids. So I said then we should get a divorce not thinking she was serious. She is moving out in mid-June now. I am really looking forward to it. I didn't realize how much I wanted it until she brought it up. My now ex-wife at the time, woke up one time while we were sleeping. She's starting hitting me, and I mean hard, for no apparent reason. I wake up due to the pain of being punched like crazy and think WTF. What happened? Did I accidentally stick it in while she was asleep? Nope. After about an hour of her being pissed off. She finally told me that she had a dream that I slept with someone else and she felt the need to beat me when she woke up. One time I ordered a chicken fried steak in a restaurant in which I was currently the only customer. It took an hour to get my food and when I started eating I realized that I had gotten chicken fried chicken. I called the waitress over and explained to her that I had ordered chicken fried steak, which she confirmed was accurate, but had received chicken fried chicken. She stared blankly at me for about 10 seconds and said what, you don't like chicken? I'm usually pretty quick on my feet with a windy comeback but I was literally left speechless for a minute. I finally got the words out to explain to her why I wasn't happy with this mix up but ended up just leaving. Needless to say I have not been back. The moment I met my mother-in-law and every moment with her to follow. She wouldn't use her visa card in Texas because she doesn't think visa works out of her state and we're in such a remote area. So do they even accept visas here? It is just not safe and shouldn't risk it. She said it with a straight face. I live in Dallas and it's 2020. I could write a book on the two-year-old reasoning this woman applies to life. I don't know how my husband made it to adulthood. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.